guys and welcome back to another daily, daily vlog. Today is Sunday, but you guys know, it's Sunday, the grind never stops. So yes guys, today is Sunday. However, I have a really, really, really early meeting this morning. I'm going to a, well, potentially a new client's house to give them a quote on how much it's gonna be to network their house. You see, the thing is, at this point, it's transitioned in my life from uh, the grind never stops to the, well, the grind can't stop. You know, I'm 20, I've, I've, I've just bought a house and I, I sort of need to pay for it. So the grind, it's just not allowed to stop. You're just not allowed to stop the grind anymore. It's mental. We got this though. Sweet, I have just arrived at my client's house on a Sunday morning and I'm literally just here. Check out their house because they want me to do some Wi-Fi. This is a brand new house and Wow, it looks absolutely gorgeous. A few moments later. That took about five minutes, and that was very, 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 very easy. First meeting, Sunday morning, success. Sweet guys, all back now, wireless survey, absolutely fine. I can set this guy up for a small price, of course, but right now, I need to change into this. That's right, a classic Bertie Cool hoodie. I'm about to go around to my girlfriend's house for one reason and one reason only. She said she wants to take some photos for the merch site of me in all of the hoodies. So I'm gonna go around there and do that now, but I'll, I'll only be really, really quick. <laughs> See guys, I told you I'll be quick. Right, I'm taking this off because the sun's just come out and it's actually kind of warm on Sunday. These these gorilla pods, they're actually terrible. Yeah, not bad, thanks, Macy. So guys, I want to talk about something quite serious and one of you guys led me on to this and I've never ever said anything about this and it's quite a funny story and I want you I want you just to to listen right a lot of youtubers in the past and still do they make what's called a story time video where they tell a story that's happened in the past now these things don't happen very often anymore because no longer they have credibility and the reason they don't have credibility is because well other youtubers then started to do like fake story time videos and fakeness and loads of fake things came out you guys know what I'm talking about YouTube's creating fake beef having fake relationships breaking up with doing doing it's all just fake but one of the questions that I saw on Twitter was Alex have you ever been arrested. Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest. So, here's, this, this is what happened, okay? So, you guys know my friend Barney. I've been talking about him quite a lot recently because he took two years out of, out of school to go to Australia and he's literally only just got back and, and that's it now, he's, he's staying home and he was literally my best mate, disappeared out of my life. And you know friends together, you do activities together, you play Xbox, you know, you, you, have, you have hobbies that you do with your friends and one of, one of mine and Barney's hobbies is we used to go airsofting. I think if you look back on my channel, there is a video. I think it's even me saying thanks for 500 subscribers of me and Barney airsofting going skirmishing and we loved it. We had like really expensive airsoft guns. We got ourselves kitted out and we were honestly like we were kids. We thought we were in the we thought we were in the goddamn army, right? At my old house, I had just bought a really 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 brand new airsoft gun and it was quite expensive and all of me and all my mates who went airsoft and including Barney were like oh my god that's amazing I can't believe Alex has bought that. So at my old house if you looked out of my bedroom window you could see there was like a big lamppost that wasn't in use anymore and it had like a sign on it and I used to use it as 
like target practice out my bedroom window, right? It's all private property. And obviously in my last house, like anybody, I had like loads of neighbors around my house. And uh, so my friend Barney picks up, picks up this gun, right? And I'm just chilling on my computer. So it wasn't even me, right, that did this. This is how you guys know it, that it, this isn't fake. I didn't even do it. Barney did it, and I'm sorry, bro, for telling everybody how you got me arrested and us arrested. So he picks up the gun and he starts shooting at the pole. And I just think, oh, he's just shooting at the pole, right? He's just shooting my airsoft gun. It was an automatic airsoft gun, but he was shooting at single fire at this pole. I was sat on my computer. The next thing, I swear to God, right? I don't really know what happened because I wasn't looking, but the next thing that happened was I just see Barney drop down to the floor and I just hear a girl scream outside and I'm like, oh my God, what have you done? And he's like, Alex, get down, get down. I've shot her, I've shot her. And at this point, I'm like, mate, what the hell do you mean you've shot her? Like, what? And anyway, it turns out that he was firing at this metal pole outside, you know, the little target one, right? And the, and the BBs were ricocheting off this pole, right? And going in, straight in, to the, uh, to the neighbor's garden shed, right? As to which an old woman was in there, <laughs> in her garden shed. She was in her garden shed doing some gardening or whatever she was doing on, on, on the weekend. And these, and these little bullets were ricocheting off this pole, right, and going straight in, right? Do you guys get the point, right? They literally, we see them 20 minutes later on the phone to the police outside there. Well, they're on the phone and they're looking up and pointing at my window. Well, 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 oh. So anyway, me and Barney being the young kids that we were, we did the wrong thing and we hid, right? And the police came round, knocked on the door. We were upstairs, we didn't go to the door. Eventually the police just left and we thought, oh my God, we've got away with it, we've got away with it. Honestly, the scariest day of my life, right? And then the police left and, 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 and nothing happened. So you guys are like, Alex, you never get arrested. And no, I didn't think I was gonna get arrested. Everything everything was absolutely fine. Uh, me and Barney thought, we've got away with it. That's it, right? So then later on in that day, Barney leaves my house and uh, I go to bed and next morning I wake up uh, I didn't have college that day. And I remember it was like 10 a.m. and I'd literally just woken up. I was in my room, just in my boxers, just chilling out, about to go downstairs and have some breakfast. And I get a knock on the door. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, the, the postman's maybe trying to deliver a parcel or something. So I, I, I strut down, right, in my boxers. Go to the front door and who's there? Not a policeman. A police woman is at the door, right? It's on a massive glass door at my last house. She can literally see me straight there. And I'm stood there, like, in my boxers, like, Oh my god, I don't know what to do, it's the police. So I'm there in my boxes and I just go and open the door and I'm still in my boxes. I'm still in my boxes at this point. And the police lady's like, can I come in? And I'm like, yeah? And I'm stood there in my boxes. And then I think I said something like, the kitchen's just through there, do you want to take a seat? Let me go and get some, some, some clothes on. And she says, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, two minutes later, I come down and uh, yeah, she's, she's sat at the kitchen table with a big notepad and she's, at, she's asking me all these questions and she says that I'm under arrest for using, using an air rifle. So I then had to go down to the police station with her, take my airsoft gun with me to prove to someone at the, the police station that, that I was shooting with an airsoft gun. So obviously the old people had rang up and said they're shooting us with an air rifle, not an airsoft gun. Hence why the police came racing down with their lights on. And that guys is the story of me getting arrested and probably hopefully my only and last interaction with the police except from that one time I was uh, taking photos on the bridge in a vlog ages ago and someone rang the police thinking I was gonna commit suicide which is really 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 horrible again if you guys want to chat to me about anything you know I'm always here oh that's so embarrassing I can't believe I've just told that story oh that's so embarrassing the worst part about it isn't just me getting arrested it's just the fact that I answered the the door to a policewoman in the boxes <laughs> You guys know that box out there that I said um, that we'll unbox soon? I'm probably going to unbox it in tomorrow's vlog, that one. Well, I think it's an item for the live streaming room. So, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm kind of stoked. And I uh, really, really, really can't wait for tomorrow to get this thing out the box. Hope Corsair aren't screwing me over here. I really hope it's that brand new product that they've just launched, which uh, <laughs> is fairly amazing. Right, Sunday in the office, guys. I'm going to call it quits in here, I think. Off goes my special YouTube light LEDs. <laughs> I think that that sunset over there is, is, is slightly magical. I, I can't quite show you from the ground, so uh, I think this should sort it. Thank you.